up everybody good morning welcome to another vlog today's gonna be a day vlog usually I do like weekly vlogs but they're really long so i have a lot of things that i plan on doing today so i figured i'd bring you guys along with me uh it is 8 26 in the morning and y'all like yesterday i vlogged everything I ate in a day you guys definitely have to check out that video because I've been vegetarian uh, for the last couple days and oh my gosh my nose will not stop running <laughs> okay and I was doing a very good job like with my diet until like the end of it like I got some McDonald's french fries because y'all I was starving but I woke up with a lot of energy and I'm feeling really good. My body's feeling really, really good. And just in case you're wondering, I decided to go vegetarian because I have some health issues that have been coming up that I've never had to deal with before. I've been genuinely healthy, generally, that's the word I'm looking for, healthy for the most part until recently. So um, I'm going to go ahead and take my vitamins. And yeah, we're gonna go for our walk. I went on two walks yesterday, one with my dad later on in the evening and then one in the morning. I'm trying to like go on a walk within the first 30 minutes of waking up or getting up. So supposedly it's really helpful and beneficial. And I will say that I feel so good today that I'm hoping that we keep the show on the road, if you know what I'm saying. So my dad introduced me to a park yesterday, so I'm going to go over to that park and I'm going to show you guys kind of what it looks like. They have tennis courts and um, they also have a, a baseball field, a basketball court. It's really, really nice, but they have like a trail that I can walk on as opposed to walking around in the street because I don't know, like the place that I used to walk, it's not giving, like it's just not giving anymore, like. It's nice to be able to go somewhere that is made for walking. And I haven't been to the gym in a really long time, but I want to just get my body used to a regular routine. So let's go for our walk. Shout out to Celsius for being the HBIC. Ugh. I don't drink Celsius every day, but when I'm feeling good, but I'm not feeling like I kind of feel like head tired body I feel great my body I feel light I feel like I'm I feel airy I feel like this vegetarian thing is really good for my body but not only have I been vegetarian I've also been gluten free and I've been like 90% dairy and egg free yeah I am I was trying to be vegan but it's very difficult so I wasn't doing so great at that but I don't know, I just woke up feeling so good and my body is feeling good, y'all. I don't know, like my body just looks different. It's only been a couple days, but I just feel so different. My brain is clear, like my body is just, I don't know. I just feel like this shirt, usually my boobs are like falling out the side more. I don't know, and I'm not even on an intentional weight loss journey. I'm just on a health journey and I immediately feel like my body is like the inflammation's going down like usually my feet are way more sore after my walks but I actually have like this crazy idea that I want to go to my friend's house and cold plunge maybe I should check out and see if she's available for me to stop by to do that with her today because I'm going on a walk and it will be a really nice day to possibly like go for recovery and I don't know if you guys saw that vlog but um I had a cold plunge video I did my first cold plunge and I gifted my friend a cold pod so you definitely have to check out that video if you're looking for like a cold pod pool or something to like do cold plunges in you definitely want to check out that video because it's under $200 and it's portable and it's really really nice y'all so I'm gonna call my friend and see if we can make that happen I think the plumber is coming for my tub I think I think of happening right now. Let's see if I'm right. Yo, oh, y'all are never, never gonna guess 
what the heck happened. So I was gonna like vlog a little bit of me at the park and talk to you guys or whatever. There was literally nobody there, so it would have been perfect. So when I was kind of like getting to the end of my walk, <laughs> I put my phone down to like, cause I saw like a, a log and I was like, oh, this is like the perfect place to like vlog. And I put my phone down and then as soon as I put my phone down, I look at the leaves around it and I'm like, this is poison oak. <laughs> you could not convince me that I did not just stick my phone in poison oak. So like my original plan was to do like a TikTok, you know, just talking about like having like moments with God and stuff like that to let me go home and wash my hands as soon as possible. Okay, my shower head came in guys. I was influenced by my dad to get a shower head and I think I got the wrong one because it doesn't look anything like his, but this is a Cobb filter shower head. It's supposed to have seven modes of high pressure. It's supposed to filter out chlorine and harmful substances. Now, if you listen to this, there's beads in the inside. I don't know why in my mind, I thought I would be able to see the beads. You can't see the beads, it's completely covered. Think Leslie. This is the old shower head that I'm replacing it with. I decided to not get one with the extra shower head because I never use it. And these stopped spreading out water and I didn't feel like soaking it. And this lasted me about five years. So I was ready for a new shower head for sure. I'm excited to see how easy it is to install and how the water pressure comes out of this. So let's go install it together. We're gonna see how easy it is to install the shower head. As you guys can see, I already removed my old one. So let's twist it in. Righty tidy, righty tidy, righty tidy. Oh, okay, righty tidy, righty tidy. This little piece on top and spin it to tighten it so that way it doesn't fall. So let's see how the water comes out of it, how the water pressure is, and what the seven molds look like. Oh, it does adjust. All right, so after putting this on, the shower head does adjust, and that's exactly what I needed. That was the only deal breaker when it comes to the shower head is if this piece adjusts because it looks so stiff, but it does so if I don't want the water to shoot out directly onto me or out of the shower because it seems like the shower head shoots out pretty far. <laughs> I don't have to worry about the water coming out of the shower. So I like it kind of pointing facing the wall. So let's look at all the modes of the shower head guys. All right, one, it's all the way on the end. So this is the first one. This is like a light pressure is coming out of the second to middle one. The second one. Okay, so this is coming through the second to last one here. The pressure is very nice, y'all. This is the third one. Oh, this is gonna be the one, this one's gonna be my favorite, I think. It just comes out straight like a regular shower head. This is my favorite mode so far. This is, it's pretty good pressure. I don't like it too hard. So if you're like a soft shower girl like me, the water feels good too, by the way. It feels different in comparison to when the water comes out. So it must be the filtering. The next one, oh, this one's nice too. So this one's the same one as the last one, a little bit more pressure. It's coming out through the mini holes as well. I like this one. This is more my style. Next one. Oh, okay, so this one's pretty cool because it's coming through some of the middle ones and the end ones. There is leaks, so that means that I'm gonna have to get some piping tape to make sure it doesn't leak like that. Um, next one. Ooh, this is the one that comes out really strong through the middle. This is like a massage one. That one's really, really hard. Um, that's gonna feel good on the back probably. It's giving the most massage. Feels good. The water literally feels different. It feels cleaner and it smells better. Okay, so that's all the modes of this shower head. I'm thinking for the price, 
of the shower head so that's all the modes of the shower head i am really looking forward to using this and like i said i immediately feel a difference in the water like there is filtering happening even like i said the water smells different it smells cleaner so i'm looking forward to it and like i said i'm super glad that it adjusts left right the way i would like it because that's my vibe i need to be able to move the shower head because i do hair product reviews so i need it to move around so you're not stuck with just a straight on shower head thanks so much amazon so i had to change my battery on my camera yet again like i always have to um so i came home as soon as possible and i took a shower because i was not trying to get poison oak like i don't know like i got all freaked out i felt like my hands started itching and i went and got like hand sanitizer right away but i did get my mild done i did a whole hour i mean let me see if it tells me exactly what i did it should i don't know why it's on the calendar right now i did an hour and 13 seconds 2.27 miles i was walking really slow um it says that i only burned like 310 active calories i was walking pretty slow i was enjoying it because there was nobody there and like when there's nobody there and i got my music in my ear i'm just gonna praise the lord that's all i'm doing the whole time i was praising the lord <laughs> uh, and loudly and proudly like literally walking around like being like lord help me <laughs> praising him <laughs> so i came home and i was gonna tell you guys what happened but i called maintenance because my tongue is my tub has been clogged and i wanted to take a shower immediately and this is my fit for today i really like these shorts they're like a mom short type deal really really like them um i think i have a stain in the back from detergent though i've learned my lesson never stick your detergent pods in the washer just put it in the same spot that the detergent usually is like they have like a slot just put it in there it will you will avoid staining your clothes because for some reason i have so many of my favorite things that just have stains on it so i don't know if it's on this side or that side but it's not gonna stop me from wearing clothes but anywho i came home and i ate this muffin which i took a picture of and i would have like like i said told you all you told you guys all this but um maintenance came and i was butt naked brushing my teeth after i got out of the shower so i had to like hop on a robe real quick finish brushing my teeth in the bedroom because he was in my bathroom <laughs> so of course today is just like a weird day per usual like are we shocked no um but one of the things i did have was this muffin i ate half of it because it says here let me see it is 200 calories per serving and there's two servings in one muffin so i was like okay period but i don't like vegan baked goods y'all <laughs> like it wasn't bad but i don't like it like i want to be that girl like i'm doing a really good job being vegan and not eating meat and not being vegan but being vegetarian because honestly i suck at being vegan i feel like i've been doing a good job Where's the impossible meat? I don't know where it is. I feel like I've been doing a really, really good job, but y'all, like, the baked goods just don't be giving. Like, I be wanting chocolate chip cookies, and, like, I just be wanting bad stuff. So it's good that I'm, like, not really liking the bad stuff because it's just sugar anyway um and the whole point is that i'm cleansing so i shouldn't be eating that much sugar but i do have like this beyond meat and i'm contemplating if i even want to eat it because i just heard so many bad things about eating this beyond meat because it's just additives and stuff what i'm seeing is that it's water pea protein canola oil refined all um coconut oil like there's less nutrients in this ripe rice protein dried yeast cocoa butter so i don't know like 
It's really not. I can actually understand all these ingredients though. I don't know why people are like, oh, it's just additives. So. <laughs> okay, this do not refreeze. I thought it said do not freeze. I'm like, too late. Because that's a sign that I shouldn't eat it. But yeah, I am letting this out because I really want some tacos. I'm hungry. Um, I'm starving. I want everything. I want to stuff my mouth. And if I'm not going to, I'm not going to make it seem all, I'm not going to be cookie cutter cute about it. Like if I'm starving and I'm freaking dying, I'm going to tell you guys, like I'm not about to make it seem like it's easy. It's not easy, but anything worth having is not easy really. So whatever. Um, but you know what's harder? What's harder is not making the choices today and living with the choices that you made today later on. So anyway, maintenance came, fixed my tub. I was butt naked, brushed my teeth. Um, I'm about to eat some chips and guac that I made yesterday. If I have any left, I feel like I don't see it. If not, that's fine. I have, um, I have hummus here. But I don't remember eating all the guac. I should have a bagel, some carbs. I'm hungry. Oh, oh, there's. Oh, I can have some pineapple. Oh, here it is. Oh my gosh, there's only a little bit left, but I made this yesterday, and I always make it in like a Tupperware thing. So I'm gonna just put some chips in here and eat the rest of this. Because, y'all, your girl needs food. I'm waiting for my packages to get delivered. So that way I can show you guys my new shower head. And then I also got a power surge protector. Because I have all, I have new mics, all this new stuff. And I feel like I haven't been able to use them because I can't charge everything. Even my batteries are dead all the time. I need more outlets <laughs> outlets with like usb ports instead of like regular ports because i don't have enough boxes really so i'm editing a video for my birthday i hope you guys enjoyed that vlog it was actually really cool to like well um edit because i went to the african american museum of art and culture in dc and it was very emotional like rewatching it i'm like oh my god there was a lot that we went through and this happened in the last what 200 years <laughs> like people don't think like that they don't realize like there's people alive today that have gone through the things that we're putting up in museums <laughs> um but i'm feeling good in my body y'all like even though i'm hungry i feel really good i think it's mostly like i just want to eat whatever i want to eat like i was looking at vegan foods that I could just buy because I really want like something bad but everything that's bad has cheese in it and I'm not supposed to be eating cheese so let me get this cheese this, this guac y'all I want pizza so bad <laughs> y'all have no idea but I'll get back to you guys when I get my um my shower head hey guys I don't wish this on my worst enemy i'm starving like i don't know how people who don't eat meat do it but i feel like i haven't eaten in 100 days and i'm having a hard time i'm not gonna lie to y'all so i'm making some impossible meat and it smells awful like i could tell you what i'm craving right now i'm craving like mac and cheese like i want pasta with cheese sauce or gluten i want gluten with cheese, I want cheese, and I want meat, and I want chicken wings, and I want, so I am, I'm not gonna lie, like, I'm low-key, like, struggling, so I'm making some tacos with some impossible meat, and I don't know if you guys, I love watching, like, couples channels, I love watching Trish and Cam, or actually my favorite YouTube couple is probably, like, Chris and Kwan, but I be watching them all the time, and... I was just like watching them right now 
and I was like, let me turn on my camera and vlog for you guys and let you know like what's going on. But I am starving to death. This is what the meat looks like. It looks gross. I don't know how much longer. I mean, I definitely can't be vegan forever. This is awful. I mean, I get it. Like they, I was told that I was gonna have horrible, horrible cravings. But like, I'm really, really struggling. Like, this don't even taste. It don't even smell like seasoning. I don't even care about the texture. I rather it taste like meat than feel like meat. I don't even want. I'm like, I love. I am so hungry, but I have no appetite. Like, <gasps> oh. Ooh, I'm trying. I'm trying to stay positive, but y'all, like, this is hard. I'm not even showing y'all because, like, I'm so, like, I'm so hungry that I can't even vlog correctly. Like, typically I'm way better at this, but y'all, like, so this is the lettuce. This is fresh. Like, I like to go to the store and get, like, fresh, fresh lettuce. And, um,. I like to use cherry tomatoes because they last really long and they're like the easiest to like spread amongst all different dishes like you could put them in salads cut them up you could put them in guacamole cut them up I feel like tomatoes they get all weird like once you cut into them they get weird so this is like my little hack of just I just get these tomatoes instead and just cut them up in little pieces it doesn't really work good for like burgers and stuff, but we're not eating burgers, are we? I don't think there's anything I could do to make myself feel better at this point. All right. We have this dairy-free Vio Life, Vio Life, shredded Mexican cheese. Um... All we could do at this point is just try it and hope for the best. I don't even know if I should even bother like trying it like this. Okay, that's not bad. That's really good. That's really good. Oh my god. Oh my god. That made me feel like I was really eating cheese just now. I really needed a win. I really needed a win and that was a win. I know those last few minutes was pretty chaotic because I just wasn't thinking clearly. But now that I'm sitting here, let's just do a quick little taste test. I just feel like I was freaking out. I was just having a panic attack. Not really quite a panic attack because like it could be worse than that. But like I just was like having a hangry attack. Like I'm hungry. I got to cook this. I would very much prefer to DoorDash food right now. And I can't. You know, like I was going through a crisis. So let's see. This is really spicy from what I tried before. But this is my first bite with the whole taco. This is like cheese tomato like everything you guys saw everything just fell apart honestly the cheese saves it but that beyond me is nasty it's nasty you can't save that mm-mm mm-mm No. The aftertaste is awful. I gotta figure out a plan B because I don't think I'm gonna be able to eat this. Okay, I'm in a row because after I had these really atrocious vegan tacos, I was like, let me lay down for a bit while my video loads to YouTube. And I got a package from 1-800 Flowers. <laughs> I have no idea what they are. I don't know if like there's like a particular way to open them. There's tape here. Let's open it up. I hope there's a card in there. Cause maybe it could be from like, there's a message. Oh, I love these. Oh my gosh. Oh, here's my message, but your flowers have arrived budding and ready to bloom. Follow these tips to prolong their life. Jeez Louise. And I've been dying, dying for some tulips. I've been dying for tulips. I stop by them every day at the store and I like contemplate picking them up for myself. 
Oh my gosh. Because it's like the perfect tulip season. I love these. I think they're so pretty. Oh. about you always I'm literally gonna cry I feel like I'm living like a romantic movie dream what does it say to do trim the stems approximately one inch off each stem diagonal place and base trim leaves below the water line I am so happy <laughs> These are so pretty. I'm gonna, I'm like wanting to cry because I really wanted tulips. Like, how did he know that I wanted these? I literally have walked by them 8 million times and was contemplating if I should get them. trim them now and put them in my vase. <laughs> they smell so good. They smell so good. <laughs> I'm gonna go now. I've never been romanticized. I mean, I have, but like, it's different. It's so different. <laughs> Y'all. You make sure you wait for the person that is right for you. Like, there's no point of rushing at all. Like, I feel like every time I, pay, I pray about this relationship, it gets like better and better every time. It's so weird. <sighs> okay, I'm not gonna say too much, but like, I'm not shocked because like it's in his character, but like it feels good to be thought about and it's like simple and he's like not even like he's not even remotely like close, you know, so it's just kind of like it's just different like I've never experienced like I'm not gonna say I've never experienced something like this but I do feel like really special and like I'm t I've been told my whole life like you can't be this size and meet someone and that I had to be a different person in order to you know meet the person for me that it was not going to be possible with how I look or that I'm too emotional or that someone couldn't accept me for how I am and um it's just been amazing to just know like no you're good Leslie like you're different but you should be different and the person who's right for you will know that you're different and that's it. And that's the end of that. You don't have to apologize for wanting what you want, for not accepting like the bare minimum, for waiting for what you know is right and asking for what you want. like a very beautiful thing for someone to like you the way you are I'm trying to like not be emotional about it but I am emotional about it because I really wanted tulips and then like I walk by like I go to this particular grocery store with a beautiful produce section and 
an awesome gardening section and I like literally walk by this <laughs> this flower section and I keep seeing these tulips and I'm like I really really want tulips I keep telling myself you should get tulips and I was like oh, I don't need it you don't need them <laughs> I'm so happy I know I'm a pain in his neck though I'm a pain in this man's neck. I really am. I already know I am. Good morning, everyone. You guys know I've been trying to take walks within the first 30 minutes of waking up. So day three, I took my vitamins and now I'm just making me a little protein shake. I forgot to end the vlog from yesterday. I hope you guys really enjoyed that vlog and I will see you in the next one. Peace.